He doesn't look it, but Hamdi is a troubled little boy. At the age of 10, he's been through three wars. His mind is gripped by what he's seen and heard in attacks by the Israeli military. It's not easy to know how that's affected him. Children can find it difficult to express their innermost feelings. Through playing and drawing, we can break down the barriers and evaluate the main problems they are suffering and find the right treatment to help. More than 30% of women and children in Gaza are said to suffer from the psychological effects of the ongoing conflict. Youngsters are prone to bedwetting, nightmares, poor academic performance and outbursts of anger, but they all dream of a better life. This 10-year-old wants to be a dentist one day, but fear is never far away. I'm afraid of being arrested if we leave the house or if we are going to be killed. I'm afraid of blood and our house being attacked. I don't want war again. But there are no guarantees. After nine years of siege, high unemployment and deep social issues, hope here is turning to depression. People are overstretched. People are... Uh, uh, in the verge of collapse, if, if I may say, uh, there have been studies that showed that 94 or 95 percent of the population are demonstrating signs of what we call mental health fatigue or exhaustion. It's not just the trauma of war which is affecting the young of Gaza, it's also the lack of opportunity, no jobs and no hope. And there are fears that this is driving some to join extremist groups. Universities are potential fertile recruiting grounds. Palestinians are highly educated, but 65% of graduates can't find work, and hopes and aspirations give way to anger. The siege in Gaza is not allowing us to achieve our dreams. For sure, anyone going abroad can, but here in Gaza, you're not allowed to dream. Sport is one way of replacing the bad with the good, for these kids, martial arts is the key. Kids suffer from trauma because of the war, but we find karate takes this negative energy and helps the kids cope with the war and forget a little. It might be harder for Hamdi to forget. Physical injuries can heal over time, but mental scars can last a lifetime. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Gaza.